Hey guys, Thad Grayson. here for Iowa Budget RC, and today we got a little bit different project. We've got Grayson's go kart here, and uh, hey, there's Grayson's car. But uh, anyway, we are going to get the wheel off. We're going to put a new clutch on it, which we have right here, and also a new band brake because this thing doesn't stop worth a darn. And uh, so yeah, that's the plan today. Uh, eventually we're gonna replace this tire because it's, as you can see, bald. But uh, these things are a bear to get off of the rims and I don't know that uh, we have the tools or ability to do it right now. So anyway, we are going to uh, Grayson's gonna get in his toolbox and get whatever tools he needs to get this thing apart. And we are going to uh, do this. He's gonna do it all with my guidance. All right, so the first thing he's gotta do is get this wheel off and there's a circlip right there. He's never used circlip pliers before, so this might be interesting. There you go, he got it off. All right, good job. So set your circlip up here. Ooh. And then that's a washer. Pull that washer off. And that might be another washer, or that could be the bearing. Nope, just pull the whole wheel off then. Oh, nope, it is a washer that's and a bearing. bearing. It's a bearing and a outer race, which is fine. We will repack that. Greasy. So pull the wheel off. We might have to pop it off the big sprocket instead. Or we might have to take the clutch off first. Yeah, let's take off the clutch. Okay, well, so all right. I mean, kid knows his sizes. That's exactly what it is, is half inch. He's learning. Excuse the messy garage, but he's got his own toolbox right there. He has most of the stuff you need and I've got the rest. So anyway, all right, can't find my channel locks, but found a uh, big pair of vice grips. So loosening a little bit. Okay. Come on, wussy. You shouldn't have to hold the channel locks if they're up against the, or I mean the vice grips if they're up against the chain and sprocket. Need dad's help? Mm. Must have Loctite on it. Just a little bit at a time. Hopefully it doesn't snap off. In fact, here, I'm gonna, we're gonna pause it. I oh, it's, feel it. it just got loose. It just popped loose? Yep, it just popped loose. Okay. So now that that's loose, you can take your vice grips off, so watch your fingers. You should be able to take that bolt out. You can set the bolt and washer in the motor mount there to, so you don't lose it. Uh, we may have to get a puller. Oh, no, it's actually coming off. That's that's good. Or at least the outer band of the clutch is. Here, just pull the whole outer outside of the clutch off. Just set your wheel barely back on there. Now it ain't gonna come off. Okay, well, you should be able to get your axle off. There you go. And you got it. All right, first step's done. Okay, 
so we're gonna pop that off of there which that actually came off really easy I've never actually had one that didn't take a puller uh, we got to get see that woodruff key inside of there mm -hmm. this thing right here that square yeah. we need to pop that out of there because we're gonna need that because that goes in this key you can't pop that in yes you can that goes in the yeah. key it'll come out trust me that goes in this keyway right here on the crankshaft okay. see that right there mm -hmm. so we will get that done and uh, as you can see there's nothing left of the brake lining no we don't need that just like that yep so as you can see there's nothing left there of the brake lining Not at all. it's uh and that's why it wouldn't stop so just the middle anyway we'll bring it back all right so now he's going to loosen up the clamp on the cable for the band brake. So loose. Hold on to the... There you go. Should be loose enough to slide it back. Well, you slide it back on the cable. Tighten it up for now so you don't lose it. Okay, now you gotta get those pins out of there. These? Yep. You know how to do that? Mm. No? Like that? Let's tap on them and see if they pop out. They're not gonna because your cable runs through it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So what I told you to do there with the end of the cable, you're gonna have to undo that. I'll bring you back guys all right so these bearings were really growly and I don't know how much grease we're actually gonna be able to get into them but Grayson is packing them with the horizon hobbies marine grease that I have and uh, so hopefully that helps some Almost full. he's learning the joys of packing bearings hurts my thumb knuckle all right he's on bearing number two You can also kind of do that. You just want to make sure you get as much of it as you can into that groove and really push it in there. There ain't much room to push it in. It's not really a packable bearing, but it's worn out enough to where we can get grease in there. Very good. All right, and then I'm going to throw some solder on the end of this cable. So here's the old one. There's just a tiny little bit of the lining left on the outside and the rest of it is all bare metal. Here's the new one with the lining on it. That's how it's supposed to look. So this should 100% be 100% better at stopping. Quick little advertisement for tubbo towels here. Grayson's using them to uh, clean up all the uh, grease and stuff on the back of this motor and look, yeah, that all came off the motor, but look how much that aluminum actually shines now. It's still not all the way clean. All right, so just tapping the pin through. Oh, you might have gone too far. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got to line up the holes to where we can put the brake cable through it. So, good job on that one. So now take your cable. Ow. In the end, we kind of tried to solder but it didn't work so well because this thing's covered in grease and whatever uh, but it sticking it through it's fine. you got to pull it backwards and you got to guide it in you just dropped your cleanly packed bearing come over to where I'm at dude Get in your line of sight so you can see what you're doing. All right, I'll pull it all the way through. There you go. Now slide that back on there just loosely for now. No, that's not how it goes. Oh. Now just screw it in to hold it. 
Okay, now he's gonna have to pick up his bearing that he dropped on the floor, clean any dirt off of it, and then uh, we'll throw that back in the wheel and get, uh, get the wheel back on. All right, we're gonna slide the wheel back on part way. That's, slide it on. Put some hair around it, maybe you can find it. You're not old enough to get that joke, but some of the dads are. Okay, and you get your sprocket on there. Wind that up. I can fix the bearing, don't worry about that. Get, get your spline lined up, your key lined up with your keyway. Not your, not your set screw. No, no. Ow! All right, I gotta help him. We'll bring you back. Okay, he's got everything lined up there. So, right, nope, other way. The lip goes to the outside on the bearing. Push it on. Then your washer. Wait, I think we missed something. No, we didn't. What's this ribbon? That's, that will go on here. Okay. Now, where's your circlip? There's your circlip pliers. There's your circlip. Now, this is the tricky part. You want me to do this so you don't shoot it across the garage? Mm -mm. So get them in the holes. Put it up against here, hold the top of it with your finger, get it in the slot, and just let it go. Let go of the pliers. Good job. All right, so now we need to make sure we've got the clutch and the sprocket in line. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, before you put that in. So there's a set screw on here. Remember the set screw that I put in there? So we get this in line, then we put in the set screw, then we put in the bolt to tighten it down. It did not have the set screw on it before, and that's part of the reason why the bearing was kind of growly, because it, it was causing everything to wobble around, okay? So we'll bring you back when he's uh, re about ready. All right, Grayson. Hit your brake pedal as I spin the wheel. We've got brakes. So I'm much even, so it even wants to I'm not even let, down all the way. let go. Hit it again. So much so that like I can literally torque the go-kart sideways here on these uh, saw horses. So we're gonna clean up our mess, get this thing down, and uh, Gray's gonna take it for a little short rip. All right, here he goes. Second pull. What? I said second pull. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Yeah, we gotta let it warm up a little bit, bud. Is the choke on or off? Well, is it on or off? Oh, there you go. Got to have the gas on. All right, now it should fire back up. Might take it a couple pulls, get gas back up in there. You might have to turn the choke on. All right, choke back off. You need a new seat, that seat's all cracked. All right, give her a go. Uh-oh. Never mind. Okay, turn the choke the other way. I think you actually turn the choke on. Uh-oh, because it... Just turn it the other way and start it. Okay. 
Might have a little dirt in the pilot jet. Okay, the choke's definitely on, so hold on. We fixed it. Put an extra washer on there and a new circlip. Don't worry about your helmet. Just take it for a ride. Helmet barely fits you anyway. Ready? Ready. You might have to choke it. She's cold blooded. Ease into the throttle. You and your ridiculous Crocs. Brake check. Okay, it locks it up. that noise oh I know what that is that's the band break making noise so we're gonna have to adjust that brake a little bit but it does work For, boy. What? Don't tear up the front yard, that's what the backyard's for. This thing stops so much better. Yeah, but we gotta adjust it. That's what that squealing is, is the, the band brake making noise. So yeah. anyway gonna, guys. We're gonna do a couple more. Thanks for watching. I'm Thad. I'm Grayson. For Iowa Budget RC. Have a great day.